Hello everybody, my name is marc alex Cicote and I'm the Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate and today I'll be taking community questions. So first question from Alison Kidd. Where and why did you come up with the idea to set the Assassin's Creed Syndicate during the Industrial Revolution? Would there be a possibility of an Australian Assassin's Creed game in the future? So the idea for uh, an Assassin's Creed game set in the Industrial Revolution came from uh, our need uh, as a team to, uh, to innovate into the Assassin's Creed franchise. We wanted to find a setting and a city that would allow us to do things differently. And with the Industrial Revolution and London being the center of it, this setting allowed us to have uh, exactly what we needed uh, for this year's Assassin's Creed. And as for the possibility of setting a game in, set in Australia, uh, well, we have the entire human history that's available to us. Question from Benjamin Thompson. What can we expect in this game that is different to the others? Well, there are many things that will feel different in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, from having two protagonists, to a city that's filled with vehicles, to the rope launcher, which gives you a lot more freedom as you move around the city, to the conquest loop, which allows you to uh, conquer the city, to the gang fantasy. So I could go on and on. There are many things that will make this Assassin's Creed game feel very unique. Question from Journal Kelly. What influenced the decision to have a twin brother and sister as the characters in this Assassin's Creed game? Well, what we wanted to do is, again, to innovate, to make sure that this game felt different than the others that came before it. And uh, having two characters allows us to approach the narrative of the game in a very different way, in a way that feels fresh. And I hope that that's what you will find on October 23rd. So question from Tash Leary. Were there any unexpected challenges in creating the two protagonists? Or conversely, any nice surprises that allowed you to do things differently? I would say it's been mostly a very pleasant surprise, especially when we saw their relationship come together, which is something that we really worked hard uh, with the actors so that we can feel uh, the bond between sister and brother come alive in the game. So it's something that makes the experience feel very new, feel very fresh, and it changes the tone from what we've seen in previous Assassin's Creed game. Question from Zach Powell. Will there be direct links back to other past assassins, or will there be just off mention and some history hidden deep in notes? So there are certainly direct links to the Kenways, since we are in London, and Edward Kenway and Ethan Kenway were in London uh, back in the 1700s, so you can imagine that we will allude to that. And there are, of course, uh, hints about other Assassin's Creed games all over the game. Question from Daniel Lesky. When building your gang throughout the city, how will this make Assassin's Creed Syndicate differ from previous games? So this is really a new mechanic that's in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So you can conquer the city and as you do it, your gang will spread throughout the city. So you'll see a lot more random events occurring in the city. You'll see your rooks, uh, which is your gang, fight with the blighters, which is the enemy gang. And the more your gang is present in the city, the more they can come to your help. So they create a lot of, uh, they create a new uh, kind of life in the city, a life of their own, and create a lot of surprising events. Question from Peter Weblin. What's been the most difficult part of old London to recreate in virtual gameplay? I would have to say that everything that is on the south shore of the Thames was a bit harder for us to replicate or to recreate because it's the part that we had the less information about because it, it's a part of the city that's completely changed uh, since the Victorian era. Question from Dean Duffin. What was the most challenging thing to get into the game? So I think vehicles were certainly the mo most challenging aspect to get into the game because we really wanted them to feel part of the experience. We wanted the player to be able to jump into any vehicle and travel anywhere in the city. So offering this level of, uh, of opportunity of freedom to players is something that we found very challenging, but as well something that is now very, very rewarding because it completely changes the way we look at the city. Question from Emma Oxford. 
Whose idea was it to get Austin Wintry on board to score the game? How much did the music affect the game and vice versa? So it was pretty much Austin's idea to, uh, to, uh, to build the music for Assassin's Creed. We asked a bunch of different composers uh, to pitch what would be their vision. Uh, and um, and ex after we explained to them what was our vision for, uh, for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And we made a blind test in which we listened to all the different pitches and we just fell in love with, uh, with what uh, Austin proposed for the music of Assassin's Creed Syndicate to be. So we've had a very, uh, an excellent relationship with Austin in which we went back and forth and some of his ideas fed into the development cycle and allowed us to solidify and make this experience uh, what it is today. Well, thank you very much for your question and I hope you enjoy Assassin's Creed Syndicate on October 23rd.